Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge where everything is the worst. Oh, look at poor Goyrin. Oh, how did we let this happen? We shouldn't have left. We shouldn't have left Goyrin in against a ghost. That was stupid. I was overconfident. I was overconfident. We were underleveled. Uh, I thought we were going to be okay. Honestly, we're lucky Ashworth survived because... Uh, drift blims have aftermath sometimes and they'll just do damage when they die and you're like well was that is that coming that one in particular did not we got super lucky in that respect oh my gosh so the question is now first of all let's let's give Goran. uh let's take your item from you yes there we go uh Goran, you were the leader you you freaked everyone out at first you stepped up in Axe's place. You learned from the mighty Axe. You kept the team calm. You were calm. I believed in you. We still believe in you. Goodbye, friend. Oh, it sucks. Oh, that sucks. Okay. All right. All right. Mm. All right. So the question is, who to bring on? I saw some people calling for mats. Of course, the mighty mats. Um, here's what I... And then, obviously, like, Lucasander is the most levelly, like, uh, and more familiar with the team. But the same thing remains. We already have a nice type. Um, we've been talking about Kamakolnu for a little while in terms of maybe we should have a dragon on the team. Mm-hmm. Never bad to have a dragon. But... Do you know who I really think we should bring on? And this might seem weird. Is Xerxen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Here we go. It's happening. So, you might be wondering, uh, hey, don't we already have one, uh, Ashworth here doing all the poison? We do. But see, here's the problem with Ashworth, is that poison is a dish best served slow. And, uh, Ashworth is a Pokemon who operates, you may notice, with a super amount of speed uh, and with not a lot of defense. So not good for the uh, poison game, the long poison game. Like, we can Toxic, we can Protect, we can Venice Shock, and that all does great. That's all good. It's not a bad move set, but... I feel like Ashworth could find a wonderful teammate in one Xerxen, who you might notice has yield toxic spikes. Mm -hmm. So, if it were, now we're also bug type. Plus, now you might think, do we need two bugs? We didn't need two ice, but we need two bugs of all type. Well, here's the thing: uh, Xerxen's going to evolve in like six levels, and at that point, it will be poison dark, not poison bug. So. Not really going to be a concern. Either way, tag team poison game going here. Lay down the toxic spikes with a nice layer of that. Uh, switch out to old Ashworth, who then, ba boom starts cranking out the damage. Which means you can probably honestly get rid of toxic on Ashworth. I don't think we need that. Uh, because ideally, we will just be using the toxic from... Xerxen over here who also has Venoshock wouldn't you know anyway that's what we're going with right now mm-hmm 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 hold on I am getting text messages who could it be who could it be it's nobody it's one of those things where I'm on a giant group text with 20 other people and they're not talking to me and I can't go to the event they're talking to don't you love those those are my least favorite kinds of texts ever Ryan so other things on the team right quick. First of all, let's go ahead and heal. Just so we don't accidentally send Ashworth into a terrible fight that he cannot win. It would appear that I think at this point in the game, we have been skating by on the outright skill of our Pokemon and not so much on the levels of our Pokemon, which is to say our, guy, our boys are good. They're out there kicking butt, but uh, at some point, strategy will not outdo the opposing levels. So we're going to do a big grinding today. I'm thinking going to get us up to snuff. Let's take a quick look at the other members of the team. They've not been handling Goyron's death well at all. Go figure. 
uh Chloeo, very unhappy the real question is who is going to be our new team leader what's going to happen that role seems so hard to fill Xylia and ashworth and xerxen all pretty new Chloeo been there since the beginning but i mean i mean sh she's really almost too angry a little too proud a little too uh like she's like the natural bodyguard you know i don't know if she's quite the uh the leader type we have fatterhorn who while he's the hero of many a gym battle and many a battle indeed is also i'm not sure quite the leader type we have juge i, I mean juge is the highest level juge has had a massive transformation from unmotivated to strongest on the team it's possible Juge could step up into that role. He's been around long enough. It's like, you know, who knows? But it's a matter of who steps up. It's a matter of who steps up in the end. That's what it comes down to. So the other thing we need to look at real quick, TM wise, is first of all, oh, I know, by the way, I finally, mm -hmm, I read your comments. Look, there's no more, <laughs> uh, whatchamacallit. <clears throat> Evia light on Juge, so everyone can stop taking their shots, and yeah. Anyway, let's see. King's Rock, not a bad option there. What should we give you? Uh, not the Evia light. We have the mind plate. That's no good. King's Rock, my da da ba, da ba, ba, ba. What should it be? You're all right. You don't have any fighting type moves. You do have bulldoze. That might not be bad. Soft sand there. Uh, ooh, bug type moves. Okay, mm, not bad. Might give that to uh, Xerxen. Although Xerxen can now hold the Eevee Light. Naturally a defensive Pokemon anyway. So that's probably not bad. Let's go ahead and give the Soft Sand to... Uh, maybe we'll give him the King's Rock when... Uh, if he becomes the leader, right? That, that seems fitting. Like a crown. Uh, where's the Eevee Light? Oh, no, cancel. Whoops. Let's head back. We're going to give... Look, see, everyone on the team's fully evolved now, except Xerxen. Item. Give. There we go. Eviolite. Ba-boom. Super defensive. Now the question is, though, TM-wise, what do we do? What do we do? Do we have... Ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba? Venoshock Shadow Claw. Rock Smash. What could we give... Uh, Ashworth to replace Toxic is the question. Rest? Mm hmm Probably not. Rock Tomb, Thunder Wave, Payback, Polish Flash, Poison Jab. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Uh Xerxen can learn Poison Jab. I don't know if that might be pretty good. To do some poisoning. He's got Poison Fang. I don't know if this is better or worse. We'll just have to check on that real quick. If so, oh, wait, let's tra attract. That'd be interesting. <laughs> that would be interesting. Ashworth doing the old attract. Confide. Oh, no, not that. Grass, not flame charge. Thunderbolt. Toxic. Dazzling gleam. Inf eh, zip, eh, return. Now. We, we just don't have that many uh, good moves that currently able to learn so maybe we're just gonna have to keep our eyes out for a better move in the future uh let's check on the poison fang versus poison jab situation going on here so summary we are certainly more attack based than special attack based that's for sure so venoshock not even that great this is 50 and 100 hone claws not bad uh, in terms of just boosting the accuracy. I like the idea of toxic spikes because then Hoover, if we could get U-turn, that would be really good too. Uh, U-turn would be good to like lay down the toxic spikes. And then Xerxen's pretty slow. So chances are she would go second, which would be good because you could take a hit, U-turn out and then bring Ashworth in no problem without having to like take a hit on the switch that would be a pretty good combo if we can get i would assume xerxen can learn u-turn um and it's a bug type which is nice um that would be great so let's see 50 let's check on poison fang versus poison jab ba, ba, ba. this is fun this is the real fun of the game right playing with menus i think so where is poison jab Oh, 8100, absolutely we're switching. Boom. Yeah. 
Uh huh. Yes. Yes, it should. So we're getting very poisonous on the steam. We're getting rid of poison fang there. Ba boom. There it is. Nice. The thing is, this is a good strategy for like uh, doing like trainer fights where they have multiple Pokemon in terms of like spikes. Uh, it's not as good for situate Thunderbolt there. Uh, like wild training battles, as it were. I am going to hold on. I'm going to see if we can just find the U turn TM at the moment and just haven't yet. Hold for a second. Okay. Turns out we are not yet at the point in the game where we can uh, do some U-turning. Uh, we are like two towns away, but they just give it to you, so it's pretty easy to find. When we get there, that shall be the strategy. However, in the meantime, I think we're going to do a little bit of grinding right now because we need to get the team up uh, to snuff, I think. And uh, so I'm going to do that. You guys enjoy the music. This will probably take me forever and you like... I don't know, 30 seconds or something? We'll see. Uh, see in a bit. Thank God. Thank God it's over. <gasps> and look what's happening. Xerxen is evolving. Do you see it? Do you see it? I see it. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, look at this. Where you guys really aren't going to have ever known Xerxen as the Scruppy. You will only have known him as a Drapion. Oh yes. Here he is. Kaboom. Oh, look at that. That's on our team. Drapion. What up? Yeah. Oh my gosh. He looks so intimidating. I love it. I love it. Oh my goodness. This has been like in my... It's weird to me sometimes how certain Pokemon will like become extremely relevant in your life all at once and in many ways. So like... Uh, we just added Xerxen to the team as a Scoruppy. As it turns out, just by complete happenstance in Pokemon Go, Scoruppy was the next Pokemon on my list to be a buddy Pokemon to get the candy I needed to be uh, evolved, and I did it. I got it this week as well. So literally in phone and in <laughs> Nuzlocke, suddenly Drapion is just like a big presence everywhere. And uh, Scorpies have been popping up all over the place. Maybe that's just widespread. I don't know why. But I still think it's funny and cool. So let me just show you what we got going here with uh, Big Xerxen, whose item we are going to immediately take. <laughs> because uh, that was so annoying or that was like ah oh, crap he's still with juge is still holding it intriguing stone no that's for something else that's for an important thing later i was like what? could i give you the stone to hold <laughs> no cannot this is not the thing with the people and the stuff you can hold probably what we want you to hold i have to imagine is the where is it the you know the poison barb right or is it? Is someone else holding the poison barb? Where? You. Item. Ashworth. Take. Ah, the poison barb. Yeah, we're going to give that to you. Not summary. We're going to get to summary stuff. Got to show you guys all the new things. I don't think it's that many new things. Use give. Okay. It seems to me that you are definitely the one who should be having yield poison barb. And then do we have some, like, silver powder or something? There it is. Oh, no. We want to give the silver powder to Ashworth. I'd, um, give silver powder. Yes. Awesome! Silver powder improving bug attacks. Okay. So, 
let me tell you a little bit how grinding went. First of all, as you can see, Juge did particularly well. I do turn on the XP share during grinding sessions just because like, why make it take longer? It already took multiple days, as you can see. Wardrobe change, oh my gosh, I hate grinding. It takes forever, especially without the turbo button. Fortunately, the EXP share is its own version of a turbo button. Everyone's in the 40s, uh, Xerxen is our new low level on the team, predictably, because he's uh, she's newest. But look at that. Oh, man. Look how I like the uh, look how big the arms sticking out over into the hone claws. That's so cool. Anyway, um, so Xerxen, as hoped for, immediate quick teamwork with Ashworth. Very many a fight we had where, uh, sure enough, Xerxen would land the poison and then I would just switch out to Ashworth for the Venoshock killer blow. You may notice that I got rid of Venoshock on Xerxen here. Um, largely, I replaced it with Night Slash, which um, she learned naturally. You might think, gosh, maybe you shouldn't have done that. And you might think that. I can see why you'd think that. But uh, what I found as I was grinding was that I was just poison jabbing stuff, hoping to poison it so it could Venno Shock. But even after they were poison and I Venno Shock, it did just about as much as poison jab was doing anyway. So it was like, I don't think this is worth it. I should just keep poison jabbing. Um, and in the meantime, Night Slash uh, is a now stab move with high critical hits. So we're going to take that. The thing I want, I like Home Claws, I used that a few times. Didn't get to use Toxic Spikes at all, but I feel like I'm going to keep this on here for the sole purpose of the Elite Four when we get there. This could be a big strategy for us. Um, and I want to give Xerxen U-turn as well. So the idea will be that we can hopefully throw out some layers of Toxic Spikes, U-turn out, and... Or that, like, we could poison stuff with Poison Jab and then U turn out and have Ashworth uh, launch Venoshocks so that Ashworth gets free switch ins. Hopefully, hopefully, actually, Xerxen is slow enough. He's looking, well, maybe not. I didn't realize how fast freaking Xerxen was. What is that? Who'd have thought? How do you stack up? Is that right? 102, 108, 37. Oh my gosh, so slow. <laughs> 125 68 wow you're really slow 65 102 wow okay way faster than anticipated um either way the idea being you turn out send in ashworth boom veno shock actually believe it or not ashworth randomly learned you turn himself the other thing we maybe need to consider is a uh, x scissor that's something it's possible i could just use toxic instead of toxic spikes but i like the idea of toxic spikes because then it's just like everything that comes in guess what poisoned and that veno shock boom the hardest thing about ashworth is getting him in there undamaged but if everything's already poisoned and he can already launch super massive veno shocks at stuff that's pretty good. So anyway, that's the teammate uh, duo between those two. Any other new attacks here? Nothing new on Clovio. Just leveled up some Fatterhorn. Same move set. We picked up U-turn here. Uh, same here and same here. So nothing too new on that. Uh, other than I guess quick friends between the two newcomers and i will say juge did the least amount of battling he just shared a lot of the exp share but he did seem like he was he was closely watching just everyone else on the team just like really making sure everyone was training hard i do not think he wants another death like goyrin uh happening neither does anyone it seemed like everyone was very dedicated to the training too just like okay i know why we're training we can't we can't have any more nonsense on the team so oh look Here's the one responsible. Hi, you're the worst. Okay, so we're going to try and get to the end of this route here. God, it feels like I've been playing forever. Realistically, I guess maybe we're only like 15 minutes into the episode. Hollow clip. Oh, God. Is this a fight? Is this Serena or whatever her butt is? Uh, like I said, according to Professor Sycamore's research, Mega Evolution releases all of Pokemon's hidden energy at once. The Pokemon that exhibits a level of power could not attain through ordinary evolution. What meaning can we draw from this? Do all people in Pokemon have such potential, or is it hidden within a chosen few? I think the meaning is Game Freak needed a new game mechanic. So, there you go. Um, oh, hi. What's up? Want to see the scary side of fairy types? I'll show you. <laughs> 
creepy. Hi, fairy tale girl, Malin. Mm hmm. Yeah, fairy types. What's scary? What's scary about that fairy? Look at this guy. This is the scary side of poison types. It's not even a poison type, but we have poison type attacks. Do you have two Pokemon? Cool. How about I'm going to lay down a layer of toxic spikes for you? Boom. How's that feel? Probably not good. Mm hmm. Charge beam. Don't think that's going to do anything. Good luck with that. In the meantime, how about Poison Jab? If something happens to Xerxen in this first fight, I, I can't even tell you how much I would flip a lid. It took forever to train him. Her. Sorry. Like, goodness. Aromatasi, guess what? Poisoned! Yeah, take that. Foolish! Mm-hmm. I just kind of feel like we're going to Poison Jab you too. We could switch out, but... See, this is where it's like, oh, Venoshock might have been good. Doesn't matter. Look at that. Boom. Welcome to the team. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Get out. Get out. Fools. Think you can fight us? Oh, we also gave him the poison barb, so... So, really, even though he doesn't have the poison typing, the poison barb totally ups his poison attack power. And it, oh god, you're you, hi. Uh, do you hear voices too? That's pretty, 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 I bet you have ghost types. They're gonna get night slashed right in their dumb faces. Hex Maniac Litwick. This is one sassy. It's good that we don't have the uh, the bug typing anymore because then we'd be weak to the fire, but instead we have dark typing. And so with our apparent insane speed, we're just gonna night slash this thing into the next world. Yeah, get out, Xerxen in the house. Hey. Oh, do, do, oh, 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 do ocean. Oh, no, hmm? No, we are poison, yeah. I keep forgetting what time. we are poison type. Forget what I just said. We're double poison because of the barb, which means no, but we're dark, which means we're covered, which means psychic is yes. Yes. Oh, I love this typing. We're covering one of our weaknesses. I did not realize the amazingness of this typing until just now. Not that it mattered. <laughs> Holy cow. Do I like Xerxen? Yes. Look at that. Oh, I wish we had these powerful things to fight when we were grinding instead of just so many, so many mighty innocent watchhogs. It was so terrible. It took forever. It took forever, I say. How do I get down there? I think we can catch something else if we go down here, right? Yeah, here we go. Mm-hmm. Lost Hotel. This is a new area. We can catch something new in here. Um, I don't like that I'm even remotely injured, though, against all these new trainers. I'm like, why are we risking Xerxen? Now, immediately, we, we grind it up, and we're immediately sending out our lowest level thing, right? That's how we do. You. I came here because I heard there was some great roller skater, but it seems like my skills as a roller skater still aren't quite up to snuff. Oh. Okay. I ain't holding back just because you're a kid, you little punk. <clears throat> oh, punk guy Sid. Scrafty. Oh, oh, Scrafty. Oh, this guy has three Pokemon. All right. So now we are dark, so we are going to be... Ooh. So we still will be weak to the fighting, though. But we're poisoned. Does poison resist fighting? I don't know. I don't know how that goes. Scrafty is pretty much the worst thing we could hope to come across. We're gonna have to go straight to Juge. Hopefully he doesn't pursue us. Not that I think he could kill us or anything like that. But here we go. Bring it in the big guns, the big horns. Scary face. I'm already really slow. <laughs> Chokes on, I don't know. It's, it's not good being slow. Either way, um, let's go. Let's go for the seed bomb. Just hit him with the big, just bomb him. You know, that's what I say. Whenever you're in doubt, just bomb someone right in their face. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Boy, his initial attack, scary face again. <sniffs> Dumb. Dumb. You're already going first. You're wasting your moves, Scrafty. Yeah, okay, you're no Raptorus. Okay, all right. Definitely not. Xerxen gaining so much experience. Ooh, a Sharpedo. Interesting. This guy has a lot of dark types. 
Uh, I guess we were the appropriate type, though, so let's just seed bomb this guy, too. Slash. Oh, wait. No crit. No crit. Wow. Okay. I had a feeling that thing would be faster than us, because its main thing is speed. And, uh, you know, we've been hit with scary face twice, so not exactly going at a thousand miles an hour. Pawnard! Now, this is a fun Pokemon. I ran into a few of those. Uh, I really like Bisharp as a Pokemon. But we're going to switch to Chloeo here to just flamethrower it in its dumb face. Yeah, I dare you eat a berry now. You wouldn't dream of it, would you? You wouldn't dream of eating a berry. You've been unnerved. And you've been pawnard! I don't know if that wasn't a word. That, mm, you're dead. That's what I mean. Dude! Yeah, alright. Good for you, dude. I bet that wasn't the last Scrafty we face. All right, I think it's a trash can. Okay, you say so. Come on, darling, bring out your Pokemon. My Sviper and Arbok are itching to play. <laughs> what do you have, poison types? I have poison types. I have a poison type right here for you. You wanna see a big poison type? Yeah, how about this scorpion? Good enough for you? Cool, thought so. Anyway, what I'm going to do is home claws these guys, and then we're going to night slash them until they die. Sound fun? I think so. I think so. Oh, you have night slash. That's hilarious. It did not do very much damage. Interesting. How will my night slash fare? Ah, much better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guess this is a weird, uh... <laughs> Common combo on poison types. Do they just have night slash? I don't know Mine's obviously better than yours. So good luck with that We leveled up. Yes, Zerxen Crushing it Crushing it man man. How cool is this Pokemon? <laughs> how have I never used this before? I like it a lot <laughs> Very cool uh, is the answer night slash Boom Oh, not that worried about that. What did that do? Special defense harshly fell. Okay, well, that's not great, but maybe we'll get the crit here and it won't matter. Oh, we did! Oh, well, it wasn't over half. That must have been a max min difference there. Whatever. I will take it. I will take it. The free win. Hooray! I'm pretty sure you can get Rotom inside the trash cans. That'd be amazing. Oh, double battle. Uh-oh. Here we go. Bad of the bone without a care in the world. That's also right. Rebel against everything. That's also right. Down with the man, man. All right. Whatever you say, guys. Zoya and Asa. Okay. Let's not be too blasé about this, though. Oh, Pangoro, you say. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, whilst I would like to just sit here and be very... Um, <clears throat> that Pangoro... I just okay. The question is, does po is poison dark still weak to fighting, or does it just become neutral damage? I feel like I'm actually gonna check because I cannot risk this, and I don't want to just be like meh meh. We'll see. Hold on, hold on. All right, have looked it up, and uh, poison dark not weak to fighting in any capacity. So also, Luke woke up. Not sure if you can hear him. But he's there. He was going to make an appearance, but he was not happy sitting in the chair. So, back to this fight then. The question is if we are able to fight this guy off without any issues. Uh, it, because I also checked on fire normal, and that is still weak to fighting. So, we can keep you in. We should do that. We should just try and poison jab. The problem is the Pangoro for sure. That's what we need to get rid of. So we're going to try and get rid of that really quickly. Let's go for the poison jab. Maybe we can poison the Pangoro. Chloeo, if she gets hit, that's bad news. Bear bombs. So we're going to switch you out. We could go to... Uh, let's see. We could go to Juju, except Juju's hurt. Xylia, man, I don't... 
this is like memorizing the dual type chart for like water and ice. It's like, I don't know, is ice weak to fighting as well? Uh, this is so, this is so annoying. Hold on. This is, oh my gosh, the type, it's no wonder when people can't remember the type charts. Like they are outrageously long sometimes. Um, hold on, dual ice. <laughs> I think I'm going to go to Xylia. That's what we're going to do. Switch. All right, it's done. It's too late. Silo, you got this. Do not. I'm nervous. Poison jab. And he just died in one punch, and all this was for nothing. Oh, it did get poisoned. That's nice. Okay, good, 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 good. Garbodor used toxic. No. No, I don't like that. Oh, this is bad. Okay. Vital throw. Oh, that's going to do nothing except a lot of damage. Okay. Nothing except a lot of damage is annoying. But you're poisoned as well, so we can pretty easily get rid of you. Our poison damage isn't that severe. The problem. Okay. The Garbodor. We're going to go first, right? So we can definitely kill the Pangoro almost no problem. And that's what did so much damage to us. I don't think Garbodor could do much damage to either of us. Especially Xerxen. Xyli can take some damage yet. So let's... Or we can just use Xylea's turn to heal Xerxen. Let's do that. Let's just poison jab on Pangoro, get him down. And then we're going to use your turn to heal you. Okay, there we go. Hyper Potion on Xerxen. The Mighty Scorpion. Poison jab on Pangoro. Totally dead. Boom, dead. Ha! Yep. Take your man. I don't like all these fighting types down here. This is scaring me. And then what's this guy got? Body slam. Look at Zyla. Look, your body slam will do nothing because on the last turn you poisoned us. So, oh, you took some Rocky Helmet damage. Fool. So we did. The problem is we are taking straight up toxic damage though. So that is going to get worse over time. So we're going to night slash you. And now we can switch out. No problem. To, I think we can go back. Let's just bring in Fatterhorn. Why not? Nice bit of offense. Nice bit of defense. Yeah. Body slam. Watch him paralyze Fatterhorn. That'd be really annoying. Nope, nope. Just leftovers. <laughs> cool. And then just like that, we're going to night slash this guy down and we're going to body slam this guy down so either way he's totes dead crit do it do it do it do it nope clear smog what does that do stat change removal weird <laughs> dead <sighs> okay well this is a weird little like dungeon area because we are not getting it all right, I will say, I did set off a repel before I came in here if you're wondering why we didn't run into anything, because I'm really trying, I'm pretty sure you can run into Rotoms in the trash, and I really wanted to try and find a Rotom. So, let's see, maybe in here. <gasps> Repel's effect wore off, and we are one step away. Okay, here we go. What could it be? Is it? Could it be? Oh, it's a... Freaking trubbish. Are you kidding me? I guess that makes more sense. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. Okay. We have to catch this now. Boy, someone gets to be named after Trubbish. One of the most disliked Pokemon. Unless that kills it. Which it didn't. Swallow. Great move, bro. Great move. Pokeball. Uh, let's go. I don't... I think we probably could use a Dusk Ball down here. Master Ball. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what a waste, right? We should almost use the Trubbish if we caught it with a Master Ball. What? What? We got it! Hooray! Now we need to name Mallet! Welcome to... Whoop, Mallet P. <laughs> Welcome to the box. <coughs> well, since I already have a Poison-type on the team, doesn't look super good for you, but... 
there you have it. Uh, you're, you're there anyway. We had a bunch of weird status effects going. Uh, let's see. Let's try and get rid of those. Also, we couldn't rely on Juge in that last fight, and I probably would have. To some extent. Oh, full restore? Probably not. Do we have any antidotes? Yep, here we go. No, no, no. Alright, everybody's good and healthy. Let's go. Did that, did that chick not fight? Dude, kid, what do you think you were? You ain't got no sense of style. You're getting a million years ahead of yourself thinking you can beat the boss. What? You're not cool. <laughs> I'm honest I'm telling you, you're not cool at all. Just look at you. You've got to take care of yourself. What? <laughs> what is <that? laughs> I'll be honest. You are not cool at all. Just look at you. Do you have to like change your clothes to get to the the boss character in here? I'm taking issue with the not cool at allness of this. So you what not cool? You guys are mean. You know, so I'm saying we we'll try to find some cool clothes or something. What do you have to wear to get in here? Do I have to go buy clothes? Okay. I guess it takes power and strength. I beat... I'm confused. Or is there just clothes in here you can find? Or do you actually have to go change clothes? Because that's going to be so dumb. There are some other cool stuff we could have run into. I was, going for, I was going big, and we got trash. Oh, flame body? Okay. This is just a really fun place. All right. Well... I guess I'm going to go try and change clothes. Uh, I think we've been going for a good while today. Thanks so much for watching. Maybe next time we'll look cooler and be able to get past the guards. <laughs> what a weird problem, if that's actually what's going on here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please welcome Xerxen onto the team. Let me know what you think of them. Is there a Pokemon that has just suddenly, like, entered your life at some point unexpected and you're like, whoa, you're showing up everywhere. I'd love to know about that in the title section down below. Don't forget to leave a like if you haven't already. Please subscribe so you don't miss any future Nuzlocke episodes from us. But until next time, bye!